Switzerland is regarded as the sixth largest economy in Europe. It's the one economy that managed to stay in positive uh, terrain uh, during the credit crisis and the recession in Europe. But somehow, despite all these gains, it stays under the radar. It's not a country we talk about a lot. Why is that? Uh, you see, the position is such that uh, my, uh, my main problem as, uh, as commercial counselor is uh, changing, I would say, uh, perception of Poland and this part of of world because uh, in my opinion uh, I am here two years so I have made some research uh, four billions of, uh, of the US dollars uh, turnover is missing mm. uh, when you look on other countries in our area because w maybe it is good also from the point of promotion uh, that you should uh, recognize potential of Central Europe so in case we we compare Poland to South Africa uh, in this respect that we are the, uh, also gate to Eastern Europe, you know, and uh, our, let's say, uh, gross domestic uh, products uh, of, uh, is about 40% of these countries in mm -hmm. this area. Uh, so, uh, so we can even calculate that uh, missing, you know, uh, turnover between our countries mm -hmm. and South Africa is $10 billion. In case you recognize that from our part of the world, because of the salaries, you know, uh, prices are more competitive, you can calculate that uh, in case you capitalize on this potential, right. you can save up to, I think, $2 billion. It is a big amount in comparison of your imports. Well, the profile of Poland is definitely rising because the U.S. President Barack Obama recently visited Poland. Yeah. But people are saying it's all for the energy because it's estimated that Poland has about uh, 5.3 trillion cubic meters of shale gas. That's the one thing you have in common with Africa is that increasingly you're being seen as being part of the energy security solution in the world. Yes, so, so uh, we hope that uh, this new, I would say, initiative as regards uh, using this gas deposit, of course it will be not in short uh, time, uh, it, it has uh, for us strategic uh, dimension because, uh, as you know, we have strong neighbor uh, Russia, Russia. Uh, who sometimes uh, is using, you know, uh, energy, I would say, uh, platform, you know, to push us into corner, especially during the winter time. Uh, even it may be anecdote, uh, some talks in South Africa had to be postponed because there was crisis as regards uh, mm. securing contracts mm. uh, for uh, gas for, uh, during the winter time. It is important not maybe uh, mainly for people but for our industry, our chemical industry. So. Uh, having some more independence in this respect is right. for, for us of crucial value. I mean, the reason I'm raising the, the issue of energy, and I'm saying it, this is where you can almost collaborate with the Africans, is that in South Africa, for instance, you've got a company like Sasol that's developed incredible technologies for the sector, gas to liquids, that sort of thing. Uh, so when you're looking at the opportunities that in, exist in Poland and the opportunities that exist in South Africa, how are you sharing on knowledge, on opportunities and synergies? You, you see, there is some already I would say process as regards you know this uh, technology because we have already arranged that some contacts and discussions are uh, between partners from uh, South Africa mm -hmm. and to one of major uh, company you know in Poland but this technology is similar to SOS Sasol it was developed you know uh, together with uh, China and the, some uh, pilot uh, installation in China is working so uh, we are at stage that uh, on both sides should be uh, chosen you know who is the project uh, I would mm -hmm. say manager just to, mm -hmm. to go in more detail. So, of course, it is not a uh, very fast process, but already th there is right. something. Also, I think that you should, uh, uh, noting the turmoil in the Middle East, you should, uh, as uh, South Africa, to uh, make some research about possibility of cooperation with our Lotus refinery. Mm -hmm. At this moment, uh, there is a big competition between Russian right. and other companies, you know, to to buy, I think, right. uh, 53 pay percent uh, of shares. It is also a very interesting offer for South Africa because this is a uh, modern uh, refinery. Uh, latest right. investment were about $2 billion, you right. know, so the capacities, I think, about okay. What other areas million. are we going to see Poland and South Africa working together? Uh, you see, <laughs> uh, when we look on our turnover, we will notice immediately that there is big uh, share of automotive components. So we are natural partners but uh, our industry is bigger than yours and uh, 
uh, maybe I shouldn't uh, tell this, and okay. also maybe uh, more efficient, because uh, uh, I would say uh, yeah, I think the time necessary to, to, yeah. to assemble one car yeah. is 50 percent of this what is necessary in South Africa. But of course, both countries have, have a lot of uh, uh, possibilities to cooperate in this okay. area. But I would like to stress uh, one, uh, I would say, not used field yet, because we should remember, in case we have 40 or 50 percent of automotive right. components going both ways, we should remind uh, ourselves about after okay. sale market. So it means it, there is not used uh, cooperation between big distributors of spare parts in Poland and South Africa. Okay. Whatever range, there, there are plenty of opportunities, you okay. see.